everyone, Corey to K4 Red Carpet Report in Hollywood at the season two premiere of Powers, a PlayStation Network original. So uh, what's more physically demanding, being a superhero or being a dancer? <laughs> Wait, do you know about this? Okay, so there's this whole thing. So we went to um, Emerald City Con and I got one question asked and, and, and he came up and he asked this question, he asked that question. And I was so nervous about picking one over the other that I kind of gave him a lackadaisical answer. So I found him one. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't because I know the guy. I found him. Yeah. Yeah. This year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I found him. <laughs> I found him on Twitter and I was like, hey, I screwed up. I need to give you the full answer. So I sent him like 17 tweets. Not really. It was like two. But I sent him tweets explaining. So my answer is, which is more physically demanding, both of them hit the floor. I had to train for eight months to learn how to dance because I wasn't a dancer before. Um, that was really, really hard. But it also prepped me for powers because because powers is so physically demanding I kind of already have that know-how and skill set I train in Krav Maga so I'm just agile now so yeah well okay first of all I'm gonna go rewind because you went back looking for a fan that asked you a question and you researched and you responded so how important are the fans to you that oh, literally it's why why I do what I do I mean the word fan is so strange to me, but it's just viewers, people who are supporting you, people who you're you're creating your stories and your art for. Um, you want them to enjoy it. You want them to support it. And, I mean, the more they support it, the more I get to do it. So they're an integral part of the whole process. Yeah, and so, like, you're a dancer and obviously now an actress. Do you see yourself dabbling into anything else? Singing? I love singing. I love singing. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I have a really cool voice coach and... Um, I'm just working some things out, so, yeah. If you had a role that you can uh, take on and reboot, what would it be? A reboot? Honestly, I would love, it's a more recent movie, but um, Jennifer Lawrence in Winter's Bone. I'd love to do something like that. I really like that movie. I mean, something older, uh, I don't know. Like playing, playing a, a someone, like, like, a, like the movie Selena, doing something like that would be really cool. Be excellent. Are you like the Whitney Houston as well? Or exactly, exactly. Yes. Well, they're telling me to stop, so <laughs> thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. Nice, to meet you. nice to meet you too. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and don't forget to press that thumbs up button and click that subscribe button as well and comment below and let me know what superpower you would have. I know I would be invisible. Hi, I'm Carl Ori. Logan, nice to nice meet you. Yeah. No, so, uh, you know any of the writers on Hit the Floor? Yeah. Judalina Nero. Oh, yeah. She actually used to host for me doing this. What? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, she wrote, I guess, season three and season two, maybe? And now she's on the flash. How much more can you excited? Yeah, and I think she, she pitched her own show, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With J-Lo and... Within that. Yeah. What's your name? JD. JD. Logan. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Dad taught me well. She's strong, like a superhero. Yeah.